Hey everyone! So today I have my February favourites for you all. Um, I apologise for the lack of posts lately. If you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I, Josh and I recently got a puppy and uh, she's kind of been keeping us a little bit busy so I, um, I haven't had a chance to film in this last week but Josh is outside playing with her and it's given me a little bit of a chance to film so I have my favourites for you all. Um, surprisingly for such a short month my favourites actually I actually picked up a fair few new favourites, so yeah, I, um, I'm really excited to show you what I've got, so let's get started. So the first favourite I have for you all is actually the NARS Dolce Vita lip pencil that was in my latest haul. Uh, this lip pencil is actually a really great, just neutral work colour, and I feel like it's something that would suit a lot of people as well. It's what I'm wearing right now, and it just, I feel like it really brightens up my complexion. I get stuck in a nude rut and I wear a lot of nude lipsticks and I feel like this colour is just that step up from nude so it kind of gives your face a little bit more life but it doesn't it doesn't overpower the face so I'm really really enjoying using this lip pencil especially for work my work is kind of a, a little bit conservative so I um, I really enjoy using this one and I feel that it lasts a really long time the the velvet um, the velvet finish just has a really nice kind of long-lasting finish and it wears really evenly surprisingly so I'm really happy with how this one turned out so the next item I have for you all is from NARS's new spring collection that I actually forgot to put in my last haul video I had it sitting there and I don't know why I just kind of skipped over it it was sitting with a couple of other NARS products so I think that I just kind of didn't see it and it's the eyeshadow single in the color Valhalla now the color is awesome it's just this beautiful kind of peachy pink color really nice kind of just easy to wear everyday lid color it's really great to just put all over the lids and you're good to go I have found that I've been wearing this a lot for work. It's kind of got a little bit of a sheen to it. It's also got tiny, tiny little flecks of glitter in there. And I just find that it really brightens up the eyes. And it's really easy to work with. You can just bang it on the eyes and just you're on your way. It's it's a really perfect colour and they've done a really good job with this spring collection. If you're, uh, if you're interested in kind of peachy nude colours, the whole NARS spring collection is full of them so they've done a really good job with this but I'm really loving this colour in particular. It just has this really nice kind of pinky peach sheen for the lids and I'm, um, I'm wearing it on my lids today, not that you can really tell because I'm wearing a lot of eyeliner but it's just, I don't know, it's just really brightening. It looks as satiny as a matte shadow does but it also has that really brightening effect from a frost as well. I just really really love this. The next product that I've got to show you, also uh, another favourite, is also from NARS. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a NARS revival this month, I think, but it's uh, it's the NARS highlighter in Albatross. I um, I recently used this in a tutorial, and I just forgot how much I love it. It's really great for pairing with like neutrals, really warm neutrals as well. Also, really great for pairing with uh, olive greens, which is another one of my favourites as well. I um I just absolutely adore this highlighter and I feel like it just it has this beautiful sheen to it but it isn't overly shimmery it just looks really nice and kind of just glowing on the skin it's just beautiful so I'm really really enjoying this one again I have so many highlighters and when I revisit something and really love it it's a big deal for me I really tend to stick to the things that I um I know that I really love and I just forget about products so I'm really really loving this again I just feel like it makes a really great inner corner highlight as well which is what I'm wearing it for today just really brightens up the eyes especially if you have like a warmer complexion or uh, an olive complexion this would go really well for as well it just gives that really beautiful golden sheen to the skin the next product that I have been loving this month is again the Clinique bottom lash mascara I have gotten lash extensions again and I I adore lash extensions I just feel like it's so easy and so just it's just they just open up your eyes and make them look so good my eyelashes have a tendency to kind of poke straight down so I feel like the curve in the lash extensions actually opens them right up and because I have the lash extensions I haven't really been using mascara on the top but I have been using this on the bottom and I just feel like it ties everything together and really deepens the bottom lashes and really kind of 
I don't usually like mascara on the bottom lashes and I just feel like this kind of... It just makes them look darker and longer without making them look scary. So I'm really, really enjoying this. The formula on this is also really great. It just doesn't smudge. It, it just stays put until you wash it off. And it's just super, super black. So I really, really like this. I just feel like it's the best bottom lash mascara that I've found. I just have a real problem with mascara smudging on me. Even mascaras that I really like for my top lashes, I just haven't been getting along with for my bottom lashes. So I'm going to continue using this probably forever. The next product that I've really been loving is olive coloured eyeshadows, so really that olivey green. The olive colour that I've really been loving is actually Sumptuous Olive from MAC. It's just this beautiful olive colour with this really great golden sheen. It just, it looks so amazing on the lids. I did a tutorial with it recently and I've just been wearing it all the time, especially paired with like a, a really nice kind of matte warm brown. But I feel like it really adds something to a normally neutral palette. So if you like really neutral shadows and uh, shadows that are generally quite kind of more of a bland colour I suppose, which is what I like as well, I found that pairing those kinds of colours with an olive green adds something more to your eye makeup and just really makes your eyes pop. So I've really been loving that colour. I feel like so many eye colours can get away with that as well, especially your browns and hazel eyes as well. It just really brings out the eye colour. But look, I have blue eyes and I found that it looks equally as good on my eyes as well. So I've really, really been liking that. I the next thing I've really been loving this month is actually straight hair. I go through phases where I like my hair curled or I like my hair straight. Now don't get me wrong, I love my hair wavy, I, I really enjoy doing it, but I feel like straightening is a lot quicker than actually doing waves in my hair. And I found that the GHD curl wand that I um, did a tutorial with recently that has just been the perfect, perfect curl wand. It's really quick and easy to use. But I recently pulled out my straighteners uh, and I'm, I'm just in love with them. They're just so quick and easy to use. It's the uh, GHD Eclipse Straightener. Now, I've had GHD since I was about 16. Um, I was given it... Uh, I was given a GHD, I think, for my 16th birthday. And I really, really love them. I, I've just never found straighteners that have been so easy to use and so quick on my hair. I have quite coarse hair, so I find that it is a little more difficult to straighten. It's not like it's curly or anything, it's a little bit wavy. I've just found that the Eclipse in particular just works really, really quickly and it makes your hair so shiny. If you see my hair in person, especially after I've washed it, it's not shiny. <laughs> it's actually really quite coarse looking. I, I get highlights done so the highlights are actually quite damaging to my hair. But I find that the Eclipse just makes my hair look a lot nicer. I also use it in conjunction with the Kerastase, uh, I think it's the Nectar Thermique. Yeah, the Nectar Thermique, which is the really hydrating one. I've just found that that is the best heat protectant, um, especially because these heat up quite hot, but I find that they heat up to a temperature that just makes your hair really shine. So I've been really loving my straighteners again, and in all likelihood next month I'll be going back to curling my hair. So yeah, uh, between, between the two products, the GHD Eclipse Straighteners and the uh, Creative Curl one that I've used as well in videos, I just absolutely love them. They're just really great heat styling tools and I found that they really haven't damaged my hair all that much. I, I, I generally use heat on my hair every time that I wash my hair, um, so that's like twice a week or so and I can get away with doing touch-ups with these as well um, if I need it. I generally, generally it holds fairly well but sometimes you just need an extra curl or an extra straighten and I found that it doesn't cause too much damage so I'm really happy with these. The next item that I have to show you is actually a fashion favourite. I haven't included a fashion favourite, I think, since I started filming videos again. Um, but it's something that I actually got in New York. Um, gosh, it would have been like four years ago now, when Josh and I first went to New York together. Four, maybe three years ago. But... It is my Celine Phantom in this beige colour. I adore the bag. I saw it in the Celine store and just thought it was amazing. But the problem is the colour, this beige colour. I have had it in the back of my wardrobe pretty much since I bought it and I haven't used it all that much just based on the colour. I was terrified that I was going to get gene transfer on it and 
recently I was going through all of my things and I was thinking to myself I've spent so much money on this bag and I'm really not using it and it just made me cringe a little bit. I just thought to myself if I'm not using it I'm not enjoying it and I really need to stop babying my items otherwise I really don't get the use or the enjoyment out of them and I just love looking at that bag. So I've really, I've really been making an effort to kind of to use it again and I just adore looking at it. I just think it's the prettiest bag but I know that I really want to get, next time we go to New York, I really want to get um, a black uh, mini luggage as well uh, just to really kind of round out my collection but I really really love that bag. I just feel like it holds so much. It's really good for travel and I do a fair bit of travel. I just find that it just holds everything you need. It's really easy to kind of open up and grab things out. I just find it's the easiest bag to just chuck things in and just kind of be able to reach everything and look for everything in there because it opens up so wide as well. It's um, it, it really does open up really wide but really good for travel especially for hand luggage as well. It, uh, it really holds everything that you might need on board the aircraft so I'm really really enjoying that again. But one of my biggest recommendations to people who like enjoy buying designer designer items or high-end items. If you're anything like me you'll have that real tendency to kind of baby them and I've just realized lately that it's not worth doing that. It's worth actually using them and really enjoying them. Even if they do get slightly worn or if they do start to look slightly um, slightly more loved as well. I've just come to the realization when I've I've been talking about overconsumption and uh, reducing my makeup collection in particular but also also my collection of, uh, of fashion items and things like that. I've just found that I really need to get use out of my products and use out of my items and that bag is just, it's, it's my absolute favourite. I just got out of the habit of using it because I was afraid of ruining it and that wasn't giving me any enjoyment whatsoever. So I've really been loving using it again and I found that I'm becoming less and less worried about uh, about wearing them in. Do get the use out of them. Don't be like me and just baby them because I've gone four years without really using that bag so much and it's just been it's just been an absolute pleasure to kind of use and look at and wear and I just really enjoy the quality of the product as well so yeah it's um it's been a really good realization month for me as well. The last item I have for you is actually something that's quite seasonal. Now Easter is coming up, uh, I think next month, and I'm really, really excited about it because Cadbury brings out their Turkish Delight eggs, and I am obsessed with these. The Turkish Delight in these is different from the regular Turkish Delight chocolate that they have in their regular line, like the bar chocolate. I find that this is a lot softer and a lot more kind of gooey and runny, and Cadbury's chocolate is just the best chocolate, and I've really, really been liking these. I've already bought two packets. So I'm um, halfway through this one, but they're just they're just something that makes me really happy around this time of the year. But I think this year I'm going to have to stock up a little bit more because last year I didn't, and they were all gone within the first month or two. So I am um, I'm going to have to buy a few more of these. But I found okay, so I usually shop at Woolworths, which is one of the major grocers grocers here, and. I've just found that these eggs aren't as popular anymore. They um they aren't carrying as many of them as they used to and I actually searched and searched and searched the supermarket to try and find these eggs in particular because I noticed that a lot of the Easter stuff was out. So I really really hope they keep them because I hope that I'm not the only one who's absolutely obsessed. But yeah, the um if you have the chance, give these Turkish Delight Easter eggs a try. You'll really really enjoy them. So that's it. That's everything. I um I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was kind of a mishmash of products this month, but surprisingly for such a short month, it's actually been yeah, I've tried out a lot of a lot of new things. Uh yeah, so I've got some more exciting news coming up as well. We're about to do our apartment inspection uh before the building is finished and we'll probably be moving in in the next 2 months. So I'll kind of try and do a little bit of a tour of everything that I've got now and um, and kind of try to minimize things before we move in. But yeah, I um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you all later. Bye. This is my baby girl. Hello.
You could be a favorite too, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. But this is Peanut. She is a long-haired miniature dachshund. She's shaded red. She, um, she's been taking up a lot of my time lately. Oh, big yawn.